Alright, have you ever wanted to turn on something using your iPhone? Like, let's say I wanted to turn on this fan right here using my iPhone. Well, you can. I click this button, and the iPhone clicks on the fan. Then, I can click this button, fan turns off. You can see there's no wires connecting anywhere. All this is wireless. In fact, um, I can still be almost, uh, I would say, 100 to 200 feet away, probably more, uh, because this is 900 megahertz. So I could go outside and still click this button and the fan and turn on in my basement and turn it off. It goes through solid brick, everything. So if you're unfamiliar with this technology, uh, you should watch the very first and second video in this playlist uh, dealing with XP technology and Arduino. But, and then you'll get the understanding of what this is all about and what it's hooked to. So if you look here, it's hooked to this outlet that is a wireless outlet. You can pick those up at Target for $14 and I just hacked the remote so that there's an optic isolator chip on top of the Arduino that clicks this button and this button for me. Very cool technology, no doubt about it. Has so many possibilities. I mean really if you're thinking about a studio lighting for example you know you could have a whole bunch of these hooked up and you can have them on different buttons like different uh, lights pop on, lights pop off and that's what my plan is is to hook up a photo studio with this technology and have it all ran off my iPhone. But for right now I still have to get this the initial game plan down and get everything working just on simple devices before I go jumping into something like a Norwal project like that. Alright, now let's see how I did it. Let's go on to the software. Alright, you're going to need the following software. So begin to download. The first one is called Cool Term. Okay, that is a terminal program for Mac. The next one is called OSC ULATOR. So, okay, and I'll make this a little bit bigger here. So, so download download that one. You're going to need a program called Touch OSC editor and then you're going to need touch OSC on your iPad, iPod or iPhone depending upon which one you use. You're also going to need the Arduino um, starting packet and that oops, there we go that is located at the Arduino website so if you just type in Arduino and go to the very first home page you can find that in the download area and there it is for Mac OS it comes with two separate things um, it's gonna come with the application and it's also gonna come with the FTDI USB serial driver you're going to need that All right, the next thing we need to do is build an interface. So let's get started with the interface. This is Touch OSC Editor. Here's the interface I built, and it's very simple to build. I can just right click and add a push button. Okay, there's my push button, and I just made one really big. And then I made another push button and made it equally big. And then I also added two horizontal labels on and off. If I click this button it'll say one push one. Okay, This one is one push two. And I have everything labeled. Very simple stuff. So what we do here is hit sync. And then we're going to sync it up with um, my iPhone and I'll show you that in the next little video section here. All right, 
right, so to begin, we have to launch Touch OSC. Touch OSC is right here on my iPhone. I'm going to try to get it to go this way. There we go. Click the I in the corner. And then I'm going to choose the computer that I'm syncing with. It's the very top one. Now here I can choose my iMac. Okay, then I'll go back to Touch OSC. And I'll also go down here to Layout. I'm going to click it, I'm going to add, and I'm going to click on my host. Okay, now down below I have lamp on off. And I can hit done. There we go. I have my two buttons on, off. Alright, let's go back to the software. All right, now that we have that synced up and on my iPhone, what we're going to look at is the buttons. So if you launch OSC Oscillator, just by default, this is what pops up. Uh, you should be able to hit 1, and you can see that there is a button labeled Push 1, and there's one Push Off. So when you sync that, that's how it's knowing that you're pressing those buttons. All right, now we're going to make a key combo. So in parameters, you're going to, I'll just start over here. And see, I got this cool term program and cool term. All right, cool term is launched and running. If I hit one, the fan clicks on. If I hit two, the fan clicks off. Under options, I have serial port and I've chosen USB serial and this one. Remember, you have to install the FTDI drivers that come with Arduino in order for this to work. Okay. Now, all I do is have to take and tell pad one, so here I'll start over with this one. I'll click one, hit pad one, which is number pad one. Then I'll also add a number pad 2. And then under the target, I want to make sure it's cool term. And this one's cool term. And we'll label this one on. And we'll label this one off. I also want to make sure I put it as a default target cool term. So for each one of these, it should all right, let's close that out. Now, let's go over to push button one and drop it down to key combo and choose on and off. All right, to test it out, I should be able to hit the button on with this in front and it works and then off. So the downside of it, you have to have cool term up and running in front of things. But I'm sure there's a way to make that so it's um, a little less like that where you can go in here to parameters. I just haven't really played around with it enough to actually find that. But because the default ter target should be cool term no matter what happens. But um, for some odd reason, cool term is a program that has to be up front in order for it to work because it's sending a simple one and a two in its direction. You can't send a serial code through OSC oscillator, but you can send a keyboard command over to cool term to send it. All right. So now that I have that, um, it works on off. Uh, we'll take a look at this on video again but you've seen it at the very beginning of it how it works and how it's turning it on and off. Essentially this is just the start of things. You can have 
a million different key combos. And the nice thing about this program is I'm controlling an AC unit, but really, if you look under key combos, look what else you can do. From your iPhone, let's say I have a command C. <laughs> okay, I close it out. Maybe you want to launch that towards something like Photoshop. So you can essentially turn your iPhone into a quick pad with all the uh, super hotkeys that you want at your disposal whenever you want, as long as you're running OSC Oscillator. It's a very nice program. Um, I highly recommend it. I think this is, I, I got this, this is the actual costing one. I think it was 20 bucks but I'm pretty sure you can do it with the freeware version. And if you look, it also has the ability to run a Wii remote. So if I didn't sell you before, that's going to sell you. So um, as a wrap up, let's go to the next video. All right, so that concludes the mission of today. I'm just going to launch cool term here and make sure that I have my iPhone in front of me with both hands and bam, bam. Magic in the making. I hope you enjoyed and have a good one.